quilters. Welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks so much for joining me on a Wednesday afternoon. My good friend Christina's in the house. How are you, my friend? I'm doing just fine. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Did you do anything fun this week? No, not a darn thing. No, we have Friday off. Yes. Our offices are closed Friday all day uh, for <laughs> our appreciation, our employee yes. appreciation day. So are you doing anything fun on your Friday? Mm, I need to clean the house really badly. Oh, but that's I might not just, a good PTO thing. I might just watch Netflix. There we go. There, know. that's what you're going to do. I'm going to plant some flowers. I there think. you go. It's National Gardening Day. National Gardening Day. There you go. There we go. We can be doing that. <laughs> all right. So where is everyone watching from today? Okay. First of all. We have to give a huge shout out to Brenda J, <laughs> who was watching during her lunch hour from our very own Madison, Nebraska. And fun fact about Madison, uh, Christina grew up there. I did. So do you know Brenda J? I don't, I don't think I do. I've also been gone for many years, but I asked my mother and apparently Char knows her. So <laughs> there you go. You can be hanging out with Christina's mom and dad. <laughs> so Brenda watches every day during every Wednesday during your lunch hour. We're so glad you're here. Uh, people from Iowa are here, Everett, Washington, oh my home state, all sorts of fun people. All right. Did you love the projects in our intro video? They are so cute. Let's take a look at a couple of them. First off, okay, Albert S., we have talked about this all morning. Mm -hmm. Look at this fabric. Do we think it's like 3D, Christina? Oh, it's, it's kind of this iridescent kind of look. It's beautiful. Chelsea Graphics said it looked holographic, which I love. Yes, and with it's just, dragonflies. Yes, and the shapes are just so sharp and perfectly put together. Yes. It's beautiful. Albert, we have a dragonfly dye. doesn't look anything like that, but that's okay. <laughs> super cool. Next up, we have this super darling butterfly quilt by Nancy W. So look at how cute those are. And those little pinwheel blocks, those are from the cube. So cute. And look, they're like half butterflies. Yeah, I, I don't know, half? Like cut in half? <laughs> I think okay, they're, they're just, folded. What I think they're just directional, those? like they're facing the left or the right. They're flying. <laughs> the other ones are just sitting on uh, half flowers. Butterfly. Half butterflies. <laughs> Nancy, it's beautiful. All right, and then Wendy W made the, okay. Wendy is being just a rock star about her quilts. So look at this one. It has gnomes and gnomeses, which is what you call girl gnomes. Look at how cute those are. And plaid. Christina, when's the last time you wore plaid? Oh, it's been a minute, but like I love Like seventh them. grade, I feel like I wore plaid. <laughs> seventh grade? <laughs> I did. I don't know if that long ago. I'm old. I have like flannels and... Do you have that are plaid? Did. Yeah. Oh, I don't. All right. <laughs> Quilters, if you want the chance to be featured in our intro video or on our show, send us a photo of your completed AccuQuilt project to our Facebook page. And then our team will put it together and be part of our show. We would love to do that. I'm so excited about today. Today, here is the photo of the day. You ready? This is our stuffed flamingo <laughs> from the Omaha Henry Dorley Zoo. Okay, here in Omaha, we have a world-class zoo. Truly. If you are coming to Omaha, wouldn't you say, Christina, one of the number one places you come through is oh, the zoo? Oh, yes. I had a friend visit from Florida a few years ago, and that was the first thing we had to do. Yes, it's go to the zoo. Frequently voted number one in the country. Yes. So I petitioned for us to adopt a flamingo at the Henry Dorley Zoo, and everyone agreed, and we adopted a flamingo. It is not yet hatched, so we don't know if it's a boy or a girl, okay? But the question of the day is, what should we name our flamingo, okay? Now, think about that. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but in the comments section, you should name our flamingo. And then, Christina, what do they get if they name it? Do you know? They get that little stuffed flamingo. You get that little stuffed flamingo and huge bragging rights yes. for naming our flamingo. And we're taking a road trip, Joe doesn't know this, uh, but we're taking a road trip to the zoo when the flamingos are born. And I think we should do an AQ Live from the flamingo. Oh, yes. Yeah. I think that would All be. All the whole team is going to be yes. the best day. June 23rd is National Flamingo Day. So that's we when we're going to announce on our Wednesday show who won and our flamingo's name. Yes, because they'll probably be born by then. It will probably I be born so. by then. Yeah, it's still like <laughs> frosty in Omaha. Yes. Today, only because you're our Wednesday family and we love you. We're gonna give you 25% off your order, okay? The, I know, the code is SO25, S-E-W-2-5, all right? There's some exclusions, but 99% of the things you're gonna throw in your cart, 25% off your order. 
And we still have some flamingo dye bundles available. Yes. Okay, when we say some, we mean some. Truly, there's not that many left. Truly not very many. Okay, the flamingo dye is, you can order it before it's gone. This is an online exclusive. You can only get it at AccuCult.com. It's a limited edition dye. So once they're gone, they are truly gone. Yes. And we have a limited number in our warehouse. The flamingo dye bundle includes that cute little flamingo dye, which retails for $59.99, and a free five by 10 cutting mat, which usually sells for $9.99, okay? So take all, go get your flamingo dye bundle, throw it in your cart. It won't count towards the 25% off, but Christina, mm -hmm. what happens if our customers spend $300 If today? you spend $300, there's no code required, you just get a free Go Me. They're just gonna throw it in your it's just cart. just for you. Just for you, no code required. So go so 25 and get all the discounts, mm -hmm. throw in a Flamingo Dye Bundle, spend more than $300 and we're gonna ship you this cute little Go Me. And if you free. spend, yeah, free. If you spend over 150, then you get free shipping in the contiguous US. Okay, just get all the things. Yes. Today is the day. Now, today is a really good day to think about Mother's Day. Yes. Right? Um, what would your mother like for Mother's Day or that mother figure in your life? Okay. Christina, does your mom quilt? Does she sew? She does not. My grandmother did, but my okay. mother doesn't. My okay. mother does more like, she does like altering of clothes, stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. We have the same sewing machine. Do you? <laughs> it's pretty cute. <laughs> love that. <laughs> okay, that's what we're looking for. Quilters, have you noticed that starting in April, we now have two AccuQuilt Live events every week? Did you know that? Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we were the original, right? Yes, true. We were the original. For like two years. Yes, two years, Christine and I have been <laughs> hanging out together. Okay, let me explain the difference between them. Wednesday show, which is today, is like an open house. Come in anytime, join the fun. We showcase a die, our cube. We're going to give you tips and tricks on how to use our AccuQuilt products. And we always, always, always have a sweet deal for you. Tuesday events are like a dinner party. You can still come in your jammies, okay? But you'll want to make a reservation so you can sit at the head table. This is where we launch new products. We have amazing trunk shows. It is a total party. Mm -hmm. We also have special guests that share their expertise about the event topic. Your reservation makes you eligible for prizes and giveaways. So that's the difference. Be sure and check out both of our weekly events. Bring your friends. Both events start at 12 noon central time. All good things start at 12 noon central time mm -hmm. and they're always free of charge. Remember to reserve your spot for those Tuesday events. And what did we give away, Christina, on Tuesdays? Oh, so many things. Prizes, so, fabric. We gave away yes. a stash yesterday, like a scrap stash. We did. We did. Somebody won our stash. That was so fun. And did you love yesterday's show? I did. It was a lot of fun. There what was did really... you learn yesterday? What did I learn? Yeah, was there anything you learned oh, yesterday? I learned that um, the glorified nine patch is a very classic dye or a classic block, which yes. I didn't know. Been around um, for a long time. Yeah, but I loved it. Do you know what I learned? What'd you learn? Our very own Joe can juggle. There you go. <laughs> During the little downtime, <laughs> Joe was juggling for us. All right, today I'm gonna give away one of our new Flamingo dies. Share this video on your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. Morgan, who is offsite, she's gonna pick our winner. Christina's gonna announce it and we will all clap at the end of our show. All right, the project we're making today is called Go Waiting Pillow. And I put it here and I'm gonna move it here in just a second. It's called the Waiting Pool Love Pillow. I love it. Our cute little flamingo dies on it. Be sure and download the free pattern at AccuQuilt.com. Quilters, did you know we have thousands of free patterns at AccuQuilt.com? Just spend some time there. This pattern uses the Go Cube 12 inch finish block, which I have here, which is 25% off today. Christina, how much is a cube today if you have the a 12 inch cube? 12 inch cube is $70 off, so it's only 210. And it would ship to you free. Yep, it sure would throw in that flamingo mm -hmm. bundle, right? And then they can do that. All right, so here we go. Oh, oh it's a big boy. It is. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move it here. This is our little block we're gonna make. Okay, I want you to know that when I ever open this, I think there should be more, but it, that's not really true. Should be more? Well, I just feel like the box should be bigger because it's not a square like our oh, six and eight inch cubes. Yes, yes. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna open up, show you all the pieces inside. So we're gonna start with this, uh, which is 
in every cube, our skinny one, it has a training DVD and a cutting mat. Chris, you know what happens if you try to use the die without a mat? Not a darn thing. Pam. Not a darn thing. Nothing. All right? So pull the skinny one first, because then you won't break a fingernail. This is a pro tip. Okay. All right. Now, Joe, am I doing this overhead or am I doing this? Okay, thank you. We have such good direction here. See, look how many pieces are in here. I just think it's awesome. All right, so let's start with our little one here first. Remember, this is how you store dies, like books on a shelf. All right, shape number two. Now, normally they're in order, one through eight, but the 12-inch cube is bigger, so it's not. There are eight dies in every cube. The shapes are the same in every cube. They're just different sizes. We have five of them, uh, five sizes, six-inch finish block, eight, nine, 10, and 12-inch finish block. These are geometric shapes, so we've already added the quarter-inch seam allowance. So shape number two in every cube is a smaller square. We're going to need this today, so I'm going to pull it out. Shape number five is, I love this because they're so out of order. <laughs> oh, it really helps my brain, okay? So shape number five are half-square triangles. What's really great about our half-square triangles, Christina? Uh, everything. Yeah, we cut off the dog ears, <laughs> yes. no puppies involved. Yes, and that you don't have to cut them by hand. You don't, Christina has <laughs> never cut them by hand. Nope. I don't know why she's complaining about that, but she's <laughs> never done that. From this point here to this point here is a perfect quarter inch seam. Look at that. Shape number six is square on point. Just like our squares, you measure the sides and they are equal, but a square on point, you're going to measure the hypotenuse or the diameter to find the magic number. Uh, I went to college for history. I do not know how to do that kind of math, <laughs> but it's okay, AccuCult did it for you. So Christina, what's the shape we need on the outside to equal a square? Half square triangles. Half square triangles, well, there's a die for that, shape number five. It's kind of our workhorse. Mm -hmm. All right, can do so, so much with it. Here's our, now the th cool thing about the cube, the 12 inch cube is it has two sizes of mats. It has a 10 by 10 mat, and then it has a six by six mat. I know. All right, here we go. Oh, I feel like I'm opening a textbook. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go me. Three hundred dollars. We're gonna just give you one. All right. Shape number one. And every cube is a square. So, Christina, what kind of system is the cube system based on? A uh, grid system. Yep. That two by two grid or a four patch. Yes. Shape number one. Four of these sewn together, in this case, would equal a 12-inch finished block. Yes. Do you know how long it took me to realize that? I, I couldn't figure it out for the longest time. I thought that you would cut a 12-inch square if you had the 12-inch cube. You are not alone. I know. People think, oh, I'm getting the 8-inch cube. It's going to cut 8-inch no. squares. No, there's some sewing involved. <laughs> All right? And what is great about shape number one in the 12-inch cube? Because today, while it's 25% off, what usually fits in our six inch block? Oh, like any applique. Yeah, 90% yes. of all of our applique shapes fit in this block. So today, if you are not a fan of flamingos, though I don't know why you wouldn't be, um, it's National Dolphin Day. Did you know that? Flamingos and dolphins, they hang out together. In my <laughs> head, they do. Um, but you could, you could put flowers in the center. You could put Sunbonnet Sue or overall Sam. Yeah. We have all those free embroidery downloads. Okay. You could put a bunch of gnomes. Gnomes for days. <laughs> All right. Then shape number three are bigger half square triangles. And, oh, we needed shape number one. I knew there was a reason we talked about it. Oh, there we go. And shape number three are bigger half square triangles. Again, we've cut off the dog ears, this point here to this point here. Perfect quarter inch seam. And we need that today. Oh, and there's a great question. Can the 12 inch cube work in the go cutter? Of course it can. Yes. It just won't fit in your go me. It won't fit in your go me. It'll fit in your go big and your go and your studio cutter with the appropriate adapter. But the six, eight and nine inch cubes are in six by six die boards. They will fit through your go me. Spend $300, we're gonna ship you a free one. Yes. Quarter square triangles, shape number four. Again, we've cut off the dog ears, added that quarter inch seam allowance. All right, here we go. Thank you to Leslie and Lauren who um, put our dream studio together and all of the cubes have the right pieces. I, it's 
kind of like your sewing room quilters, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Don't roll your eyes at me. All right, shape number seven. Hey, Caden is new to our group today. Welcome to Caden. We let Caden cut a flamingo. I know, don't say we didn't give anything to you. Caden uh, uh, came today <laughs> and was hoping that there was a parallelogram in every cube. So Caden, just for you, there's a parallelogram. <laughs> What's hard about cutting parallelograms, Christina? Every single thing. Every single thing. I've never cut a parallelogram without a die. Why would I? Mm -mm. And shape number eight are rectangles. There are two, right? Here's a blade, two on this die board. All right, so I need that one as well. And I need some cutting mats. Oh, I have one. And I need a small one, but look, we have a cube. Do we have a six by six mat? Will somebody throw me one? Oh, right here. Jeez. Okay. All right, so that's what you wanna do. We have all of these dies ready so we can make our cube project. Here is the block that we're gonna make. This is the center of our little um, love pool, waiting pool quilt block, pillow. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. The title's it's, about as long as a book. Yeah, it's just the flamingo <laughs> pillow, okay? Be sure to join Lynn and Eric and I on Tuesday, April 20th at 12 noon Central Time. We are gonna launch some new product. Everybody in this room, you know what the product is? Mm -hmm. Are we telling? No. We are not. Register in the link below for the chance to win. All right, let's cut some fabric, all right? First thing we're gonna start with is shape number three, which right here are these half square triangles. So we need blue and gray. And while I'm getting my fabric ready, Christina, tell us what people are gonna name our flamingo. Yes, so Jen suggested Flossy. Flossy the which flamingo, I love. that's cute. Um, a few people recommended Pinky. Pinky and the brain. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, Terry recommended Mingo. Oh, which I think is that's real cute. cute. Mingo the flamingo. Yes. And we can make the go G O exclamation there point. There you go. Cynthia says Filbert or Fiona. There we go. Depending on if it's a boy or a girl. Okay. I love these. Um, someone said Bert. I love Bert. I love Bert. <laughs> Bert the flamingo. So funny. I love it. Okay, <laughs> keep sending us your ideas because you get to have total bragging rights. They're so good. All right, so my uh, half score triangles need blue and gray. The question you always want to ask yourself, quilters, is, am I gonna sew these together? Can I cut them together? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna sew these half square triangles together, so the answer is yes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fabric, I measured from here to here, added a quarter of an inch seam allowance, and just rough cut width of fabric. You want to have the lengthwise grain of the fabric back and forth across the die board. When you do, um, when you do with the fabric, that salvage edge is going to be parallel to your belly. All right, I need four of these. Last week, if you weren't here, uh, <laughs> I cut fabric wrong. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Sometimes it happens at noon central time, and other times it happens like eight o'clock at night. It just <laughs> happens. All right. Ooh, Randy suggested Acumingo. Oh, That's Randy, fun. that is clever. Uh, Krista recommended Mango. Mango is cute. Okay, so far I'm loving Bert and Mingo. Uh, Frankie can be a boy or a girl, oh, says Randy Jen. suggested Frankie, because then it could be a boy or a girl. I love these. Okay. So what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to go back and forth. When we talk about fan folding in the AccuCourt world, this is what we're talking about, back and forth across the die board. I put my right sides together, all right? Then I'm gonna take my 10 by 10 cutting mat. Now all of you are stressed about this little tail. Don't be stressed, how come they're not stressed, Christina? Because there's no cutter, or there's no blades in that cutter. There's no blades, okay? All right, so I'm gonna use my Go Big uh, electric cutter. How come, Christina? Because you can. Because it can. And because it's on sale. It is. How much is it on sale? 25% off. So it's $150 off. Oh so my. it's only $450. And it would ship free. Yes. And you would get a free Go Me. And you get a free Go Me. Throw in the Flamingo bundle. If you're thinking you want to get your mom a Mother's Day gift, today's the day because 25% off is a yes. great. And we're going to ship it to you free. If you live in that contiguous U.S. All right. So now look at this. Oh, I should turn on my cutter. There we go. All right, Christina, what are they naming our flamingo? Um, Amy says Fred. Fred. Which I love. Uh, Jean M says Quilty. Oh, Quilty's cute. 
Um, let's see. Carol says, Rosa if a girl or boy if a flame. Or okay. flame if a boy, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. There's so many good names. I love this. We're going to let our marketing team, well, we'll just let all of AccuQuilt decide. Diane recommended legs. <laughs> legs is the best. Um, someone said shrimpy. Shrimpy is cute. George or Georgie says Gail. Okay. <laughs> Gosh. See, our quilters are so clever. And you should all know that last week after our event, Christina went to the store and bought a tube of orange cinnamon rolls. Oh, yeah. And then I made them uh, for breakfast on Saturday. I yeah, had there to. you go. <laughs> all right. So I cut my half square triangle. So watch this. I put right sides together. So look at this. I can just chain piece for days. All right. So while I'm chain piecing, quilters often ask me, they say, Pam, what AccuQuilt product should I bear first? I'm going to always tell you a two and a half inch strip die. Christina, what do you use two and a half inch strips for? Everything. Everything. But Borders, binding. binding, sashing, jelly rolls. Um, and what size cube should they get? Yes. That's the answer. <laughs> Today we're using the 12 inch cube, which is one of my favorites because it has that big six inch block in the center. But it comes in five sizes, eight inch mm -hmm. shapes. Uh, the eight shapes are the same in every cube. They're just different sizes. And they're all on sale. And they're all on sale 25% off. So think about what you're gonna get your mom for. What are you gonna get your mom for Mother's Day? Oh, I don't know. That's always so hard. It, okay, do you know my big thing that I do every Mother's Day? Mm. We, uh, we have men at our house. Oh yes, they work for you. They, they clean. come and work for me, yes. yes. That's what I want every year for Mother's Day. They come and plant flowers and they haul stuff away and they can do in two hours what it would take me a month to do. And then I sit on the back deck and watch because watching men work is one of my favorite things to do. Yep, okay, so look at how I'm just chain piecing. This is what you wanna do, quilters, chain piece for days. Look at those big half square triangles, okay? And did you know that our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube platforms? So if you came late, you're thinking, gosh, I missed the banter at the beginning. Uh, you can watch them back. And for two years, we've been doing them. So they're oh, yeah. all on there. There's right, a whole Christina? library. You could spend a weekend just watching us yeah. for hours. Uh, I, I have to tell a funny story. Uh, Oakley, who's my granddaughter, who's a first grader, uh, said to her teacher the other, so yesterday I picked up Oakley from school and I was talking to her teacher and, and her teacher said, is it true you're on YouTube? <laughs> I said, yes, ma'am. And she said, well, Oakley was showing us, she wanted to go to YouTube so she could show all the kids uh, your videos. And I said, kudos to Oakley. Uh, but the teacher said I wasn't really sure if she knew that. And I said, Oakley knows more about YouTube than anybody. Oh, yeah. Right? She's six. Yeah, Tim's boss has a son that is around that age, maybe like a year older, and has his own YouTube channel, posts videos. Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I don't think I could still tie my shoes at that age. So no. I, don't, I don't know. No. And I told you about how I have all these funny apps on my phone. And I couldn't figure out, because Oakley can barely write. But somehow there are all these apps on my phone. And I realized <laughs> she would use the voice control and say, oh. download the nail salon app. <laughs> it was brilliant, except then I kept getting notifications that I needed to get my nails done at the nail salon. I was like, how is this happening? All right, here we go. So now I'm gonna, oh gee, I should talk. Um, this is the center square. Okay, I just need one, so I'm just gonna cut one. Lengthwise grain, it's nice and tight, high and tight. The great thing about our dies, quilters, is you are gonna get thousands of cuts out of your dies. It's gonna cut a perfect square today and tomorrow and for the next thousand cuts. Those blades never need sharpening, right? Give it a little love, slide that mat, don't lift. Now I have my center square. I love this fabric. I love this retro kind of color. All right, here we go. All right, Christina, why I cut my fabric? What are people naming our flamingo? Oh, there's so many. Um, Virginia says Oscar or Olive. I do like that. That'd be fun. <laughs> Kathy says Carlin. Carlin, I have a nephew, Carlin. There you go. Okay. Let's see, um, someone said Cuttington. Oh, that's cute. That was from Danielle. Uh, Wendy sent a bunch. She said Crimson, Electra, Juliet, Phoenix, Starlight. 
Star Starlight. <gasps> Ziggy. Starlight the flamingo. It should wear a crown. <laughs> I love that. We do have that. tiaras from that award show. We do. <laughs> we should wear that when we go visit our flamingo there at the go. zoo. There we go. Thank you for that idea. Okay, so I'm just cutting shapes. Okay, so now look. Um, we're going to cut the rectangles. There are two on the die board, just like we did those half square triangles. I'm going to sew them together. Might as well cut them together. All right, here we go. Oh, just for Jagger. All right, <laughs> we missed that shot. There we go. Ooh, Donna says Kokomo. Kokomo, there's like a Kokomo. city in Indiana. That's cute. I've been there. All right, so next is the rectangles. They're blue and white. I do love that retro kind of blue look. It's so cute. Yeah. And again, we need four. So what I'm going to do is find that lengthwise green, lay it down here. Here we Ooh, go. We've got a question from Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Leslie, who works for us? No, different Leslie. Oh, okay. Um, she says, do you have to use the same mat for the same dye only? No. No, no you can interchange them. You can interchange them. And today, mats are 25% off. Get you some. So if you have mats at home that are looking grungy, oh, here, where's my grungy one? Hold on. It's in my box of props. I love that you've saved it. Yeah. Oh, someone said stitches or bobbin. That'd be a cute name for the flamingo. That is cute. Bobbin. Okay, ready? Here is my mat. So <laughs> I went to an event in um, Ohio, and a quilter came up to me, and she said, Pam, my do you think I need a new mat? That was a real question. I said, yes. Quilters, if you have mats like this, they're 25% off today, get you some mats. But you're gonna notice that I'm using the appropriate size mat here, this 10 by 10. I'm not gonna use my big 10 by 24 mat. Mm -hmm. As it goes through, it will shimmy. Shimmy, we could name our flamingo shimmy. Morgan recommends or strawberry. Wonky. Morgan recommends strawberry. Oh, there we go, Morgan. That'd be cute. Connie says Ariana. Ariana? Like Grande? There we go. <laughs> okay, share so you can win a flamingo die. Share on your personal Facebook page. Here we go. Slide that mat. Why do we slide, Christina? Oh, because it's so staticky. In it here. is so staticky. And if in you here. try to just lift it up, they'll fly everywhere. Yeah. Ask and me how I know. Stick to the little, yeah, ask Christina how she knows. <laughs> All right. So now I've cut perfect. Um, Oh, dullest scissors on the planet oh, no. live here in the dream studio. All right, here we go. Well, you shouldn't have to worry about that, right? We're AccuQuilt. All right, so now I'm just going to take and put right sides together and chain piece for days. All right. And while I'm chain piecing, don't forget our promo today, 25% off all the things. Uh, so 25. Yes. So Christina, if they were to get the go big and the... Um, 12 inch cube, mm -hmm. is the 12 inch cube on sale today? Oh yeah. Yeah, how much yeah. is it? Uh, the 12 inch cube is $70 off, so it's 210. And it would ship free, get it with yep. the go big, throw in the flamingo, yep. and you could make this project. I love that. Yes, if you get all three of the dies you need to make this project specifically, it'll ship free and you'll get a free gomi. A free gomi. Yes, we're, I'm gonna show you the super cool trick with the three and a half inch strip die. Here we go. Oh, Lee recommended Maddie. Oh, Maddie is cute. That'd be cute. Valerie says bubblegum. That's so cute. I love these. Okay, our team is gonna have a really hard time. Truly. We're gonna make them, <laughs> we're gonna have to make them figure it out. I'm really excited about the flamingo. It's so cute. Yeah. Thanks to the Henry Dorley Zoo for letting us adopt one. Ooh, Sharon says Samson or Penny. I like Penny. That's cute. Peaches and cream. Peaches and cream. Since they're born white. Yes, they are. They're born that white gray color. And then they eat so many shrimp. They do, which is not a bad way to live. Just so you know, mm -hmm. I love shrimp. Okay, here we go. Oh, sherbet. Oh, I love sherbet. So great. <laughs> Okay, don't forget, 25% off your order today, so 25. We still have our dye bundles for our flamingos. Okay, when we say some, we truly mean some. Truly. Get them before they're gone. This is a limited edition dye, so it won't be here for long. The dye bundle includes the Go Flamingo dye, and, which retails for $59.99, and a five by 10 cutting mat, uh, which retails for $9.99. We're gonna give it to you free. 
it doesn't usually, um, it's not part of the 25% off sale, but it will help you get to that $300 so you get free shipping and a free go me. Yes, and some folks are asking when those will ship. Um, the flamingos? Yeah, sometime within the next week or two. Yes. They've just got to hatch and then we can send them out. Yes, yes. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm just going to press to the dark side for a minute. We have a show on May the 4th and they're not going to let me talk about Star Wars. I'm really sad what? about that. Okay, here we go. So see what I'm doing right here? I'm just pressing to the dark side real quick and then I'm going to lay out my block and show you how to do it. Um, and then I'm going to show you the super cool trick on how to make our border of our pillow, which I moved. It's okay. We can do that. <laughs> All right. Hang on. All right, Christina, tell us what are people get, what are wanting to name them? Oh, these are my favorite. They're just so fun. I love this. Um, I saw Sharon says Fran or Frankie. Frankie. Frankie is kind of popular. That's cute. I do like that. Frankie the Flamingo. Frankie would yeah. be cute. Um, let's see. Uh, Sally says Pinkerton. Oh, Pinkerton is cute. Kathy says Fiona. Fiona. Okay. I, I feel these. like we should make a sign that says um, Aki Colts Flamingo is named whatever. And like do like a little birth announcement at the zoo <laughs> with it. That'd be cute. We know people. We know people <laughs> who could help us with that. Okay. Here we Ooh, go. Anne wants to know, can the flamingo dye be used on all cubes to make the pillow? So I think you're going to get a little too small. I think you're going to get a little too small if you're using like the six inch cube because mm -hmm. it's only going to make, well, it would make, because this is a three by three grid, it would make a nine inch block, but it, I still feel like it's a little small. Yeah. You want to get one of those bigger ones, like the 10 inch cube or the 12 inch cube. Plus they're on sale. So they're why not? They're on sale, 25% off. Okay, here we go. We're just building our blocks. I love this. Okay. Uh, we And don't forget, you can cut your flamingos. This was a great project um, die that we have. So Mike, who is part of our um, live team here, his, uh, his granddaughter, Lily, made this. Can we get a really good close-up of this? She, it was the first time in the quilt store, wasn't it? Fabric store. I wish I'd have been there. I'd have really <laughs> spent Mike's money. Um, and she made this cute little um, wall hanging. And look at how cute that is. So she just got a bunch of like glitter and. Oh, so cute. I know that craft foam and I love the feathers. Great job, Lily. I love the eyes. I, she did such a good <laughs> job. They're so cute. She did such a good job. Okay, hey, don't forget our shovel, iron, and our mat are um, available on our website just because we can. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna move these for a second. All right, let's show you how to lay out this block. Every now and then I think I need a bigger thing and then I realize I don't. All right, here's Ooh. my corners. Chris says Flora. That one's fun. Flora, oh, that's super Beth cute. Beth says Phyllis. Phyllis the flamingo, good job Beth. <laughs> They're so funny. All right, look at how cute this block is. All right, and here we go. All right, our little sample block had glittery fabric, which is so fun. Is there All glitter right? everywhere now? Yeah, yes. glitter everywhere. We don't allow that at our house. All <laughs> right, so if you're gonna sew this together, you're gonna make these shapes, right? And then you're gonna sew this row together and this row together, and this row together. All right, so you're gonna take the rectangles in the center and the half square triangle units to make this, and then you're gonna build the next row, which is the rectangle, the square, and the rectangles, and then repeat it with the half square triangles, the rectangles, and the half square triangles to make that bottom row, and sew it all together. Why do you wanna lay it out, Christina? Because sometimes you just mess up, and if it's laid out, you're way less likely to, and then you yes. won't say bad words. Yes. And your senior and you work can be stay away. And you want to be texting me at 9 o'clock at night saying, Pam, I sold this wrong. <laughs> All right. Now, here's the cool thing. We'll grab our pillow. Hey, don't forget to join us on, I don't know, oh, Tuesday, April 20th. At 12 noon Central Time, we're going to launch some new product. I've been testing the new product. It's super fun. You're going to love it. Uh, register in the link. How come, Christina? Just because that is the way you can be entered to win a prize. It's how you win. Yes. 
You got to register. It's like a dinner party. Sit at the head table. All right. Now, here we go. This is the, um, oh, well, we'll cut some flamingos. Oh, we'll do that. And then I'll come back and talk about this cool way. Round here, see this little checkerboard? I'm going to show you a cool way to make that. So cute. All right. Caden cut flamingos for the first time. We're sending Caden home with flamingos. I'm excited about that. Here is our flamingo dye. Ta-da, ta-da. All right. Things to notice. The flamingo does not have that quarter inch seam allowance built in. It is meant to be used as an applique shape. Christina, do we have um, free embroidery files for these? Yes. Yes. There's free embroidery files for every applique dye. Yes. And what are the three stitches? Do you remember? Blanket, satin, and motif. Good job. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> All right. Here's the flamingo body and one legged, but there's a little thing here to cut it out. Here's the flamingo's beak and the little eye. And then here is the uh, feather. So what I've done is I have pre-fused my fabric. Quilters, you can pre-fuse it. It's going to work perfectly, but you have to count that fusible as a half a layer of fabric. So if you're going to use this, you can only do four layers of pre-fused fabric. So I'm going to start here with the eye and the nose. I am a huge fan of dots on fabric. Of dots I on just, fabric? Yeah, like black with white oh, dots. Oh, I understand. Yeah, I I thought you meant that. you were taking the flamingo eye and appliquing it on the fabric. No. I thought that's what you meant by dots on oh, fabric. Oh, yeah. No. And then here's the wing. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to um, lay out these bottom pieces, and then I'm going to add the top. Hold on here. Woo. Screaming hot. All right. And then here is my flamingo body. The great thing about pre-fused fabric is you don't have to worry about that lengthwise grain because the sta it stabilizes it. Right, today, in case you wondered what you use your go-me for, flamingos. And I can tell you that I have a go-me right next to my sewing machine. Oh, that's Because smart. I know you'll find this hard to believe, Christina. Uh, sometimes I forget to cut pieces. I know that feeling. I know. Sometimes I need, like... <laughs> Two more half square triangles. Of course, and it's or it's like three, because three. then because there's typically two on a die board, so then you have one extra or and you've lost it and it's stuck to your sock and you have it. no idea how to make it work. And then you find it in the laundry a week later. And... Uh huh. Yep, that's it. <laughs> or okay. the cat has it. So here is my flamingo. Wasn't that exhausting? Caden said it was so hard to cut out the flamingo. All right, here we go. Give it a little love. Slide that mat. Oh, see, this is what happens. It is so staticky in here. Oh my goodness. Come on, Flamingo. All right, so let's put this down. We'll pull it down here so you can see it. Pam, do you have any suggestions for what we should name the Flamingo? Uh, no. I think we I don't shouldn't. Get a, I don't get to have a say, I don't I think. I want it to be named Pico. Pico, like Pico de Gallo? Yes. I think that and then we so can cute. have chips and salsa. Yes. And celebrate. Pico the flamingo. So cute. I like that. <laughs> oh, here, this isn't the right place. Okay, hold on. I'm thinking about chips and salsa now. All right, here we go. Look at this cute little flamingo eye. Caden's flamingo looks just like this. We ironed it down. All right? So, ta da, there is your flamingo. Now you have lots of different ways you could finish it. You could use our free embroidery download. You could do Raj quilting. Um, you could do all over quilting. It's just a pillow, so I don't feel like it needs to be crazy. All right, look at this. Ha, ta-da. And I didn't cut any of the pieces wrong. I'm so excited. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna show you this super cool trick. You could use shape number two, which is a square. Uh, Christina, do you remember what size square this is? Oh, you told me it's three and a half. Three and a half inch square, right? <laughs> uh, so you can do the same thing. You could measure from here to here, rough cut, fan fold, back and forth. But what's the question you should ask yourself? Am I going to sew them together? Can I cut them together? Hmm. You're going to sew them together. I'm going to show you the super cool trick. I'm going to move it right here. Ooh, while you're doing that, Libby yes. has a question. She Tell says, us. How much is the Go Big today? How much is the Go Big today? It it's 25% off. Yes, so 25% off is $150 off, so it's $450. Okay. And she also wants to know what comes with it. 
So oh, you, what comes with it? Do you, you know? Yeah, you get that value die. No, you get the flying yeast die with it. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm missing my strips of fabric. It's okay, we'll find it. Keep talking. Yes, so you get the flying yeast die yes. and a cutting mat. And a six by 12 cutting mat and mm -hmm. a pattern book. Yes. So if you're getting the go big today, you might want to think about getting a um, cube. Uh -oh. Yes, a cube. cubes are 25% off. Yes. Okay, this is what happens. When, it's like home, right? You're home looking for your, your fabric. It's okay. You know what? I have more fabric. Huh. I can cut some. That's the best part. All right, I'm going to just cut some white and black together. All right. Ooh, Cindy recommends mojito for the name of the bird. <sighs> there we go. Nickname is Mo. Mo the flamingo. Ooh, Wooly like says that. name it salsa. KJ says margarita. See, now Christina, you got them theme. all started there. <laughs> all right. We always get back to food. We always do. We <laughs> always are good about that. All right. All right, so I'm going to cut some black and white strips. Somewhere I have a beautiful black and white strip already cut for you, but it's okay because we have a fabric cutting system. We can cut fabric in no time. So what I need are three and a half inch strips. Okay. So I have some white, I have some black, I have a mat. Are we worried about this tail? No. no. We are not. And notice I just um, put some of the fabric over one of the uh, three and a half inch strips. You don't have to cut all of the strips, okay? You don't have to cut all of the shapes in the die. You can just cut one or two or whatever you want. Oh, we've got another question. Cindy wants to know how much the Go Big is. Okay, Cindy, how much is the Go Big, Christina? $150 off, so it's only $450. Bucks. Okay, so here's my question for you. What if you bought the 12-inch cube, which is what you need, the 3.5-inch strip die, which I'm going to show you this super cool trick in mm -hmm. just a second, um, is it th and the flamingo die. Yes. Would it be more than 300 and you could get a free go me? Yes, you would get a free go me and you would get free shipping if you're in the contiguous United States. I love it. All right. Now look at the, oh, I'm not going to use those because these are like the dullest scissors in the world. Hold on one sec. I do love a good pair of sewing scissors. We should, we should sell those on our website just in case anybody asks me. All right. So... Pretend this is a big long strip of three and a half. All right, now I'm just gonna sew it together. So you would just have a whole width of fabric, 42 inches, okay? While you sew this, Christina, tell us what they're doing, what oh, they wanna name our flamingo. Let's see, Susie says Pogo. Okay. So that's fun. Um, Sharon says Tina and Tanya or Timmy and Tommy. There Those you go, that's fancy. Um, Ariel says pico de gallo actually means the beak of a rooster, so that's appropriate <gasps> if we're naming a bird after it. Then we have to adopt another one and name him Chips. Chips and Pico? Yes. <gasps> so cute. <laughs> All right, here now we go. I just want to get cats named Chips and Pico. <laughs> I told you, <laughs> Chips and Salsa is my sister's Wi-Fi and Guac is their password. There you go. All right. Chelsea recommended Minky. That's fun. Oh, I like that. All right, so let me show you this slick trick. So I would have cut my whole big long strip and sewn it together, right? All right, and then fan fold back and forth. How many layers can we go? Six. Six. I'm gonna use my short mat, because I can. Yeah, I know, every time I say that, Betsy sends me a little text later and says, one day I'm just gonna have to change my password. Because <laughs> everyone knows. <laughs> Chips and salsa, guacamole. All right, here we go. Slide, don't lift. Now look. This is how you want to make your border. You do not want to cut a whole bunch of squares and sew them together. You just want to cut a whole bunch of strips and sew them together. All right, look at that. Then you're going to follow the pattern on how to finish your pillow, and it's done. All right, so real quick, let's recap. 25% off, the code is... So 25, yes. SCW25. Okay, what if they bought the strip die, the 12 inch cube, and the flamingo, right? Mm -hmm. It would all ship free. Yep. As long as you're in the contiguous US. In and the you contiguous would get... US, would they get a free go me? Yep. Yes. If you bought a ready set go for your mama today for Mother's Day, 
Would you get a free go meat? Yep. Yes. You, now's the day to think about that, and then guess what you could do? Keep the go meat. There you go. That's okay. a great idea. I, I'm thinking outside or the box Or if you here. already have a go meat for some reason, you could donate it to like a local 4-H group, Girl Scouts, yes. retirement home. Retirement center. We talked about that a couple of weeks ago. That's a great idea. All right, Christina, has Morgan picked a winner? She sure has. All right, let's announce our winner. Drum roll, please. All right. Our winner is Victoria Chapman. Victoria, congratulations. Listen, we're going to send you a flamingo dye. Be sure and tell us what you would name it. Yes, Morgan will reach out and mm -hmm. in the comments and get your shipping info. There we go. All right, next week, I wrote a pattern. Yes, I can. Um, we're going to talk about Arbor Day and stems and leaves and birds and flowers. Uh, we're going to celebrate spring. It's also about how to use our applique shapes. And, you know, we always talk about our free embroidery downloads. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, or tomorrow, next week, on Wednesday. <laughs> tomorrow, I will not be doing that. Next Wednesday, we're going to show you how to do for purchase embroidery files to make things a little more fancy. All right? All right, here in our AccuQuilt Live team, so off-site, we have Katie, Leslie, and Morgan. We have Nick upstairs. In the Dream Studio, we have Mikey and Chelsea and Chelsea Graphics and Joe. And welcome to Caden. We're glad you're here. And my good friend, Christina. On behalf of our entire team, I am Pam Heller reminding you that at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. Have a great day.